when I look at the loudest voices, particularly on the other side of the aisle, including my opponent, it is not about policy. It is about denying the results of the 2020 election, drumming up fear and exclusion of other groups. It's using our children as political pawns. It feels to me that at the most senior levels, the soul has left the body. Um, so you had a lot of very hungry members of Congress, and one of our colleagues um, went to Now, the truth is that Liz and I differ on a lot of substantive policy issues, a lot of issues that are very live and very relevant here in Michigan in this election, we differ on. But there's one really, really big thing that we agree on, and that is preserving American democracy, that the thing that all of us here and the two of us desperately, desperately love. So what do we do to get through this? What do we do if we look at history to feel like... And while we are in one of the tightest races in the country, it is a toss-up, and we will not know probably till the day after the election who has won, um, I feel confident in this decision because this country needs more than what it's getting right now, and I couldn't be more proud to welcome Liz Cheney to the stage. This is, by the way, the first time I have ever campaigned for a Democrat. And I have to tell you that it was not a hard decision at all. We have to stand up, every one of us, and say, we're going to do what's right for this country. We're going to look beyond partisan politics. If the people in our party are not doing the job they need to do, then we're going to vote for the people in the other party. And I am honored to ask you all, Democrats and Republicans and Independents, to cast your vote in this election for a representative who does that, a representative who serves the people of Michigan, a representative you can count on to do the right thing, to be your voice, and to work hard on behalf of this whole country, and to put country above party. Thank you all. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.